Welcome to the How to Play video for Untold Adventures Await. I'm Michael from the Creativity Hub and I'm going to be running you through setting up and playing the game. Now, pretty much anything can happen in Untold as you create episodic adventures that take place over the course of five separate scenes that are filled with thrills and spills, danger and, above all, exciting adventure. Using a combination of Rory Story Cubes, special cards and your own collective imagination, you are going to become the heroes of your own story. So, think of Untold as your favourite TV show, except rather than just watching, you control the action. Place the board in the middle of the table and make piles of the five different scene card tiles. You should have six of each of the following. A Dangerous Dilemma, The Plot Thickens, An Heroic Undertaking, The Truth Revealed, and The Final Showdown. You'll need to shuffle each individual stack, then take one tile from each and put them face down in the correct spaces on the board. You'll notice that the dots for each scene match up here and here. The rest of the tiles can go back to the box because you won't need them for this episode. Under each scene card, you'll also see some spaces for tokens. Stack the marked number of tokens up now. You'll also need to separate and shuffle the reaction cards and outcome cards. Put them face down near the board. Give each player a character profile and player board, as well as the tokens they need for each episode. Two ideas, one flashback and one modify. They'll also need a play pause card which should be placed with the blue play side face up. Make sure one player has the episode guide sheet. You'll need this for the beginning and end of the episode you're about to play, but it can also be handy to have while you're playing so you can keep notes. Finally, put the story cubes in the rolling tray, grab a pen, and you're ready to go. Once you're set up, it's time to decide where your episode will take place. Players should discuss where the action will happen and how the world you're experiencing works. There's a series of questions on the episode guide that, when answered, will help you establish the rules of the show that you're going to be a part of. You don't need a lot of detail at this point, just enough to give you a basic understanding of where the adventure will take place. So let's cover them now. When and where the episode takes place is straightforward enough. You need to agree on a time period, at least, though you can be more specific if you wish. The location is the overall backdrop for the episode, and should be somewhere where you could think up multiple locations for scenes to occur. What do we know about this setting sets the ground rules for what is possible in the episode. Are there superpowers? Can people do magic? Is there anything unusual or out of the ordinary that players should be aware of? Tone is probably the most important thing to decide together. It determines the feel of the episode you're going to play, so talk to the other players and decide on whether you're going for dark and gritty, light and fun, or somewhere in between. Once you've answered all four questions, you should also complete the setting synopsis to summarise the episode in a couple of sentences. Imagine if you were pitching it to someone interested in watching the show. With that done, all you need now is a name for your show, and you're ready to go. Okay, we are now ready to begin playing, although you'll notice that we haven't created any characters yet. Don't worry, that will happen shortly. First of all, you need to see what you're going to be dealing with, so flip over the first scene card marked A Dangerous Dilemma. This represents the opening of the episode, and roll your nine story cubes. You'll now place some of those face-up icons that you rolled onto the marked spaces on the danger card, and using those in combination with each other will start your story. Each space on the card only has room for one story cube, so choose wisely, and don't be afraid to think laterally when coming up with the ideas for your episode. The icons that you find on each tile are also on your player board, and each tile can be translated into a simple sentence. In this case, our episode begins at this location, where this threat and someone or something are accusing each other. You can also check out the back of the rulebook for more information on all of the terms that you'll find used throughout the game. In this instance, we've rolled the story cubes and are using the lightning bolt to represent the Academy's logo, and the bug icon will be our principal, an insect alien called Kachik. Everything in the storyline comes from the player's imaginations, so consider the answers you gave when setting up the episode, then feel free to come up with incredible characters and locations. 
We also find it helps to give things names, which really helps other players imagine what you see in your mind. Now, with the danger established, it's time to create your heroes. When you're coming up with your heroes, you have a couple of options. Either roll the remaining seven story cubes for inspiration, or create your character from scratch. Whatever method you prefer, you should consider the danger that you're facing, then fill out the different spaces on your personal character profile. They'll need a job or a role, and you'll also need to come up with a reason that compels them to go on adventures. You should also note where the episode is taking place, and all of these will give you a hand when thinking about how your hero deals with the challenges they'll be facing. Next, you need to choose two starting attributes, which we call specials. These can be an amazing ability or a power, a helpful item, or an area that your hero is an expert in. When you're first coming up with your hero, you can only choose two of these three things and they have to be different, so an item and ability for example. These choices can be pretty much anything, but try to come up with ideas that will make the episode interesting rather than a massively overpowered device or magical item that will solve all of your problems in an instant. Finally, with everything done, you just need to give your hero a name, and it's time to see how they handle things. In Untold, you'll progress through the game's five scenes by asking questions and performing actions. You do this by taking the corresponding token from below the current scene card as long as a token is available. As there's no defined player order in the game, players can choose to ask a question or attempt an action at any time, but remember to share things out pretty evenly. It's good to make sure that everyone gets involved. Now at this point, we should also talk about the tokens that each player has on their individual player boards. By spending these tokens, players are allowed to change the current story a little by adding on to another player's suggestion through the use of the yellow idea token, by telling us what happened in the past with the pink flashback token, or by physically moving a story cube to a different side to use a different icon with the modify token. Each player also has their double-sided play pause card, which should be play side up during the game. However, if you're not feeling engaged with the episode or are uncomfortable with what's happening as you play, flip the card to the grey pause side. The other players should then put the game on hold so you can all discuss what's happening and how you can include everyone at the table. Now, back to our opening scene. If you want to find out more about the current scene, you should ask a question. Take a token and think about what you're trying to learn. Your question should be open-ended, beginning with either who, what, why, where, when, or how. And whatever question you ask, roll all the remaining story cubes, then use the face-up icons to inspire your answer. Wherever you can, include specific names and descriptions in your answers, because remember, you're trying to help your fellow players understand what you've got in mind. Alternatively, you might wish to attempt an action. You have a limited amount of actions that you can perform as a group, again shown by the amount of tokens below the scene card. To take an action, just tell the other players what you'd like to achieve. You should be able to structure your action as I try to hmm by hmm or I want to hmm by hmm. You aren't limited to just your attributes and abilities. Your hero can do whatever you dream up. All you need to do then is flip the top card of the outcome deck to discover what actually happens in response to your statement. These cards represent whether your action has come off successfully or not. Green means that what you described was a success, but red means your result was less than you planned for. If the card is just red or green, you stop there. However, you'll notice that some cards also show the words and or but. In this case, your attempted action will lead to a reaction from someone or something in the scene. It doesn't need to be a hero, but they must be in the current scene. In that case, reveal one of the reaction cards, and using the face on the card, describe how your chosen character reacts to your hero's attempted action. There are six different outcome card types, but not all mean that you flip a reaction card. In order from best to worst, they are as follows. The green and card means that your action was incredibly successful, so you should come up with something that enhances the impact of what you've done. Remember to flip a reaction card for some extra inspiration. 
This card means that your action goes off exactly as planned without a hitch. No need for a reaction card. Revealing this card means that the action was a success, but there's a cost. Something happens that undermines what you've done in some small way. Flip a reaction card to see how this will manifest itself. This card means the action was unsuccessful. Your action didn't go quite as planned, but at least something positive happens. Reveal a reaction card to get some ideas. This card means that your action falls flat, but thankfully nothing else happens. No need for a reaction card with this one. Finally, this is the worst result. Not only have you failed in your attempted action, it's triggered something else that makes life worse for you and your fellow heroes. Flip a reaction card, and let's see what's going to happen. Remember that while your group can jump between asking questions and attempting actions, once all the action tokens for a scene card are gone, it's time to move on to the next part of the episode. Now, of course you can choose at any time to say that you've done enough. You don't have to use all of the actions. Regardless, whether you've managed to deal with the threat successfully or not, you'll always move on to the next scene card, because the action never stops in Untold. Now you've worked your way through the dangerous dilemma, the rest of the scenes in the episode work in a similar fashion. Flip the next scene card, in this case it's the one marked The Plot Thickens, then roll all the remaining story cubes that aren't on the board. Now you'll see that this scene card is a little different. There's only one space, but you'll need to choose a story cube to add to the card that will then help you learn new information that you and your fellow heroes have uncovered. You'll see that these spaces are linked together, meaning that this one has an effect on the other. Don't forget, you use a combination of the icons on both the chosen story cube and the scene card to find out what's happening, so keep using your imagination. Again, you'll have the opportunity to find out more later in the episode. The purpose of the second scene is to create more questions than answers, and it thrusts our heroes directly into their next scene, an heroic undertaking. In this scene, you and your fellow heroes travel to a new location to address what you discovered during the plot thickened scene. Again, you work through the scene card in the same fashion. First, reveal the scene card. Second, roll any remaining story cubes to generate what's happening in the scene. And then third, Learn more by asking questions, and move the story on by performing actions, if they're available. One new thing about the Heroic Undertaking scene card is that you can now choose to reuse story cubes from earlier on in the episode. This means that characters and locations can reappear should you choose so. Anytime you see a coloured space of the same colour surrounding a story cube on a previous scene card, that character or location can return to the episode. Or you can choose to bring someone or something new into the mix. The choice, as ever, is yours, but keep in mind that reintroducing a previous threat or element can make for a richer episode. Once you've come up with your questions and answers, and have performed your actions for this scene, it's time to jump onto the next scene, the truth revealed. No matter whether things are looking bleak or bright for your heroes, the episode always continues. It's during this scene that you discover what was driving your foe during the heroic confrontation, what is motivating them to act the way they do. This should be a big reveal. After all, the scene card is called The Truth Revealed, and it should be one of the most dramatic moments of the episode. This is a time for information only, and the players only get to ask a single question. All the action is saved for the epic final showdown. It's now time for the big finish. The heroes travel once more to put an end to the plot that has been unveiled throughout the episode. As this is the end of the episode, you'll be facing off against not one, but two threats. To tie the whole story together, we suggest bringing back at least one from a previous scene, as well as introducing something new. And don't forget, story cubes with the same coloured border as the spots on this scene card can always be brought forward and reused. You'll also notice that the final showdown has no time for questions. This is an all-action conclusion to the episode, which you should try and make as memorable as possible. Now remember, you don't always have to succeed. Not every ending needs to be a happy one. Not every battle needs to see the heroes victorious. In fact, a lot of the time, the story can be more fun if you and your fellow players have some major adversity to face over the course of a few episodes. 
With that in mind, once the final showdown is complete, there's some housekeeping to take care of before you roll the credits on this episode. When you finish the final showdown, fill out the sections of the episode guide marked After Episode. There's only a couple of questions to ask, but they'll hopefully inspire you to continue your adventures in the world you've just created. You should discuss the impact you've made during your adventures, and also note any loose ends or plot hooks that could potentially be picked up on future episodes. Finally, check out the back of your individual character profile, and note any highlights from this episode that you personally experienced. Remember that you and your fellow characters can always return to this world that you've created. If you head to the Creativity Hub website, you'll find everything you need to turn your single episode into a series. Thank you for watching the How to Play video for Untold Adventures Await. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them either in the comments on the YouTube page or you can head on over to BoardGameGeek.com and check out the Untold listing there. I promise we shall respond as quickly as possible. If you're one of the lovely people who are choosing to share their adventures online, don't forget the hashtag. It's UntoldBG. And do let us know how things turn out. For now though, thanks again for watching and enjoy the game.